Alrighty. <clears throat> so, let's see here. I'm going to do this. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, <clears throat> this is Cadet. And I'm, I'm getting him ready for the bath. And just to, you know what, I'm going to flip this. There we go. Just to show you what I've been doing for like the past hour <laughs> is getting him ready for the bath. Okay, oh, Cadet, good boy. So I'm getting Cadet ready for the bath, right? And the way I get him ready for the bath is first I went through with the slicker brush to break up a lot of this, this really clumped up, you know, um, thick hair, right? And then I actually went through with this as well, the dematting rake to just get all these mats out, right? And then, hey, good morning, Crystal. Then I went through with this comb here to comb him out, right? Now, I wanna show you the difference here. I wanna show you the difference. So this side here, where I've already combed out and got all the hair out, look at that. And look how soft the leg is, right? Look how soft that, right? Look at this other foot. It's almost green, right? And this comb is not gonna budge, which is why I have to go through with the slicker brush to break it up first, and then even go through with uh, this deep matting rake to break up the mats in there as well, and then go through. Uh, hey, what's up, Stella? Awesome. So check this out. On this side here, right? You know that brown, nasty hair? that gets on the dog. Let me turn this camera around so I can show you. Sorry. So you know that nasty brown hair that gets on the side of their lips here? So a lot of, a lot of groomers um, taught me just shave it, just shave that hair off, right? But I actually like to pluck it. So you just gently pull, and a lot of this hair is dead. So when you pull that out, and I've already got here, which is why you don't see like that big plug, that plug of brown hair that's right there, right? Because I've already pulled it out. And see that? Now I'll show you on the other side. So look at this side. See, it's nice and clean, right? Well, cleaner, right? Check out this other side. So when you look at the other side here, right, for contrast, here, let me get this going on out the way. So when you look at this other side, look at that. See this big brown plug of hair right there and it's crusty? So right there, look at that, right? So right here, just wanna hold the skin tight and just slowly, just a little bit at a time, pull it out. And you'll see like the white tips of the roots coming right out. Oh, thank you, Cadet, right? And by pulling this out, by the roots, look at that. By pulling it out, what we're doing is we're not only cleaning that area, but we're making sure that the new hair that grows in is gonna be nice and clean too. If I were to just trim this, if I were to just clip this, then all of the roots, it's still gonna be in there, right? And look how clean it looks now. Much cleaner right there because I pulled all of this out, look at that right pulled out by the roots now because this is now pulled out by the roots that area is now clean and the new hair that grows in is going to be new and live and clean and this area is going to stay much nicer and that area that you know brown plug of hair that was right there is no longer there causing it you know to just that's bacteria that it's just you know holding on to and it causes odors Right, but now by pulling out the brown dead hair, plucking it out, now this area is much cleaner, look at that. And the new hair that grows in is gonna stay clean for a while. And it comes out so easy, see that? Now it's all clean. Look at that, oh. So, all of that, I'm just picking it up <laughs> off the floor. All of that nasty brown hair that was right there that caused that plug of hair, that plug of nasty brown hair 
rather than just clip it, because if I got my if I got my clippers and just shaved right there, just shaved it, then all of that nasty stuff would have all the um, it, roots pretty much the stubble would still be in there, and then as it grows out, it's still going to be that nasty damaged hair, and that's going to be night you know nasty and brown, and those those pores right there, the skin would be all clogged and full, right? So now it's all clean. I test out on my lamb cut today. Oh, nice, awesome. So that's, that's the importance of uh, prepping the dog properly. And so now I got his ears and his head all combed out. Look at that. There's all this matting here. Now it's all combed out. Right here, it doesn't look so nasty and brown because I combed all that out. And so now all I gotta do is do this side the way I did this side. So this side now, so look at that, just slides right through, right? And it's nice and soft and fluffy. This side, I can't get the <laughs> comb to budge, see that? So I'm gonna go through with the slicker brush first, break it all up, right? And then once you break it all up with the slicker brush, the area where I just brushed, I can actually comb a little bit easier. See that? So that's what we're doing. And that's the secret to keeping him nice and fluffy and giving him a nice teddy bear cut. I don't have to shave him, you know? Because if I can't get this comb to go through, then when I wash him, he's not gonna wash well. He's still gonna smell after the bath. He's not gonna dry well. It seems impossible to dry him. And then the only other option is to just shave him. And I think that's such a shame to shave you know, such a beautiful dog, right? And that way, oh, sorry about that. That way we can keep him nice and fluffy, give him a nice haircut and shape his legs. And that's what, that way we don't have a shaved much cleaner, right? On this side too, where we just pulled out that plug of hair. See that? Nice. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, where do you get the slicker brush? Oh, you can order on Amazon. Um, Amazon has a really nice uh, selection of slicker brushes. Um, this one here is just like a universal slicker brush. Um, it, it actually literally, literally, literally says universal. <laughs> universal slicker brush. So I don't even know. what It says made in West Germany. So just a, just a regular old slicker brush. Um, but yeah, you, and you also might want to get yourself a dematting rake as well because it has these serrated edges. And that's going to help you get through a lot of this matting as well once I go through with the slicker brush first. All right, so that's what takes time. It really does. It took me about an hour to just to get the, through his uh, one side. Probably gonna take me another hour to get through this side. So, Stella says where? Um, Amazon, amazon.com. Um, you can go to amazon.com and just order, you know, whatever slicker brush you choose, really. It's your personal preference. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm using this universal one right now because I had one from Foxy Roxy's uh, Scissor of the Month Club that came in, but it broke, <laughs> the handle broke. So, and you hear that about that a lot. A lot of these uh, slicker brushes, the handle will break off. But you know, <laughs> um, is the rake is on Amazon? Yes, yes, the, it's called a dematting rake. That's on Amazon as well. Um, if I have time later, I'll go back and put um, some links, some Amazon affiliate links on this video description. That way you can just go ahead and click the links. And if you buy the product using the link, I get a small commission. So anyways, um, if I have time, but I gotta get back to the groom. Oh, look at that, he's so beautiful, isn't he? All right, see you guys.